everyone, and welcome back to Grow Healthy Gardens Season 2. Um, a lot got in the way last year, but we're back at it now. So let's get started the same way we did in Season 1, and I'll show you how I built a uh, new raised garden bed. So to assemble these garden beds, I decided to use uh, overlapping finger joints on the edges. And to do that, the first thing I needed to do was get a measurement of the board length, which came out to 5 and 5 eighths. Uh, I divided that by six originally, but decided that the six finger look was, they were a little bit too small. So I narrowed it down to just four. So I took five and five eighths divided by four. And I'm going to put marks at one and seven sixteenths, two and seven eighths, and four and five sixteenths. And that should give me even fingers. So let's do that first. One and seven sixteenths, two and seven eighths and four and five sixteenths. Um, I also know that the thickness of the board is an inch and a quarter, and because I want these finger joints to overlap, kind of like this, instead of being even, I'm gonna double that and go to two and a half for the length of the fingers themselves. After that, I just take my square, mark lines all the way across the board, and then put an X at the fingers that I want to cut out, which for these longer boards is a second and fourth finger. So to cut these fingers out, it was a little bit of trial and error at first, but I figured out the most efficient way was to start with my skill saw. So let's do that. Saws off and come back over those cuts. And you can see I kind of overlapped the line a little bit here. Um, I just kind of put it in perspective of what you're building. Remember, this is a garden bed, not furniture, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, after that, for the inside tooth, I need to drill a hole. And then I'll take uh, my little hand saw because my jigsaw broke, unfortunately. And that's it. And then I can come back and clean these up a little bit with a chisel or something. Uh, but after that, I'm gonna repeat the process on each side of each one of my boards, and then I'll move to assembly. So the next step is gonna be making corner supports uh, which will also double as stakes to drive into the ground and keep this bed in place. First thing I'm going to do, uh, take my 2x4 material and put a mark at 17 inches, which is the thickness or the height of the bed, I'm sorry, and 30 inches. So that 13 inch difference will be uh, fashioned into a stake and driven into the ground. So using my skill saw, I'll cut that at 30 inches. Make an X on my quarter side, and then take that over to my table saw, which I have set to an inch and three quarters, which is half the, the width of a uh, two by four. And I'll cut it up to that 17 inch mark. Next, I'm adjusting the height of the blade to make sure I can cut through, and I'm going to cut off one of these two pieces. Now I have the support section and the section that's going to be driven in the ground. And to help this uh, drive a lot easier, I'm going to fashion a point on the end of this. There you go. Uh, this will be my corner post and the stake that will be driven into the ground. So now all I gotta do is assemble my pieces. I like the look of this top edge being the uh, continuous edge. 
on the long side, I mean. And so I'm gonna put that down for now because I'm gonna assemble the whole thing upside down and then flip it over once it gets to the spot. So. All right, so now I'm going to assemble uh, this whole thing with these deck screws, which are two and a half inch deck screws um, by pre-drilling and then driving these in. Uh, I also got kind of a hammer to try and tap these into place a little bit better if they are out of alignment. Right, let's get started. All right, so me and my wife has taken the garden bed to the backyard, and now I've what I've done off camera is I've dug a trench under where I want the garden bed to go, and I faced the location off of my master garden plan right here, um, and we're gonna start with this garden bed uh, right now. I think the other garden beds will come in later years, but I decided just to go with one bed this year. This is the one we're going with, right in the center of the fire pit. What I've done over here. I've marked the location and dug a trench on three sides because our backyard slopes uh, towards the fence. Uh, and then I flipped it upside down in the trench and made sure it was level. So what me and my wife are gonna do now is flip it right side up and hammer it into place, checking for level. So I've driven it most of the way in now, and now I'm just going to use my level to check it across here. And I think it looks pretty good in the back. I'm just going to whack this side a couple more times. That completes today's project. Um, I think it turned out really well. I hope you guys liked uh, watching that. And until next time.